Let's try that over. <laughs> hey, guys! <laughs> Rumble is a cow. A major sweet. Yeah, okay. I, we got crazy ADHD, me too sweet, jumping around <laughs> in a little cop uniform, hanging on tabletops. Ma'am, please. It's okay, I have a portable mic. <laughs> you do! <laughs> you do have a portable mic. <laughs> oh! Everywhere. Sir. Everywhere. Oh, Jesus. Did you not take your ribbon okay. away? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no. Evidently I not. Should. I'll be right back. Let me go do that. Woo! <laughs> Oh, she actually did leave. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. And she's um, still on the table. Okay. Hey. <laughs> it takes a while to kick in. Okay. So it does. <laughs> geez, we're here for a reason. We're on here. Oh, let me get my mic so you can hear me while I run around. Um, <laughs> we are talking today about a very what important subject that's near and dear to. <laughs> <laughs> to both of us. We used to play WoW a lot, didn't we? A lot, a lot. Um, I've played for four years. Since almost four. Straight. Beta. Yeah, beta. I played for like four years of my life. Like beta, I never yeah. moved from the computer. Okay. I didn't move. Well. I almost died. No, I'm just Why kidding. aren't you playing at me too sweet? Um, well, <laughs> it just got really tedious and I don't know. It just wasn't fun anymore. It. I mean, everybody knows, you know, we might as well say it, everybody knows the whole daily situation, and everything Ugh. just drove everyone crazy, it made me want to puke. So the question we're asking now, it isn't why you quit or anything like that, but it's what would bring you back, and I have my answer, and I'm afraid you're going to steal it, but I'll let you steal it, I'll just you still have my answer? go further on it. <laughs> no, I said it first, I remember what your first answer was, I remember what it was, what would bring you back. Oh, uh... Yours was a new... A new... <laughs> a new... Ex expansion? Yeah. Well, the, well the, it wasn't know. just expansions. Was it was, yes. But there are so many things that I would go back for. Like, there's so many things. It's not just... Oh. Well, yeah, obviously I'm going to go back for an expansion. Okay, so yes, expansion. I'll say that first. What would be? What would bring you back? Are you? Um, I can say it now. I can talk. Yeah, I know what you're gonna say. Oh, I know. You know what I'm gonna say. Mine is housing because it's like the easiest thing that they could could bring into it. And if they would retro like fit everything, you know, basically like go back into the old instances and add. Uh, furniture drops and stuff and stuff for your house or or even a guild hall but I would rather it be you know personal housing but guild halls would actually be pretty awesome too but anyway if they would do that then I would go back um, there's not a whole lot of other things that would bring me back <coughs> to them um, um, I, I know can't for think me of anything for me in a heartbeat I would go back tomorrow if they did single player dungeons or duo dungeons, or three-person dungeons. I would go back, boom. Well, they have the single-player ones. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Are you talking about the new one? The Proving Grounds or whatever? Yeah. That's crap. It's like proving a little arena, and it... Proving Grounds, that what it does. It teaches you how to play. It's not a real dungeon where it's like, you need oh. to go in here once a day know, and kill a boss and go through bosses like a normal dungeon. That's just... <sighs> it teaches you how to heal and teaches you how to tank. No, I'm talking about... And then what about duos? Two people dungeons. Um, yeah, you mean like DC Universe? Yes, like being you know able I'm to do basically from. any number of people. Now, there's something else that we someone, said though, just a couple days ago. I can't remember. We were both like, yeah, we would go back. <laughs> what was it? It I wasn't know. housing. <laughs> it wasn't housing because we've no, talked about that for months. But we were both like, oh my god, if we all did that, we'd be so there right now. And we were like really psyched about it. I know we were talking about station cash kind of things because you were talking about the helmets they brought in, but I don't think it was anything to do with that because we're actually, we don't like that part of it. Um, we did talk about the whole free-to-play thing where if they would actually set it up free-to-play and not 
not just to where you can only get to level 20. But I mean, I get why they're not doing that because it, it's a different game. Like it's you know, it does make it different when it when it's not like that. But yeah, but I don't think it was of that I would though. Go back if it was free. It it wasn't. I don't remember. It was something it was. really like we were really happy about it. Like, oh my god, yeah. Well, obviously housing guild halls big time. I would go back in a heartbeat with guild uh -huh. halls. Um, dang, I can't remember what it was, and it was yet. Yeah, it was like just recently. Mhm. Mm I think it was while I was. Uh, yeah, because you came on, happy. and we were you like came on for a couple seconds. And we said something, and you're like, you said something, and I was like, oh my god, yeah, I did that. And we're both like, oh yeah, if they did that, we'd be back there right now. We're never going to remember. It'll be when this video's over, so. <laughs> yeah, we'll just add it as an annotation in this spot, add it. Right? You know what it was? Here. It was this. <laughs> now, when I talk about the Proving Grounds, if, if anyone watches this video, correct me if I'm wrong, it's not an instance where, okay, it's... It's like a real one. It's just, I think, a, to learn and test and stuff. I don't think it's anything spectacular. And a lot of people be like, well, they have the Brawler's Guild. It still doesn't count. In DC Universe, there was what? Like almost 30 single-player dungeons or instances there. I'm talking like yeah, real ones. Yeah, depending on what tier you were on. Yeah, and you get geared that way. You don't have to group up if you don't want to. And I, yeah. This is, I mean, I like how they had that set up for sure. But I, was, I just can't remember what the heck it was. So I would come back for uh, definitely to try, always try the expansions, no doubt. Um, We've also talked about the tree situation because they've dumbed down the talent tree so much that it's basically everyone's the same in it, and it's just a matter of gear. And then once you get once you get your gear, finally, it's out, done. By the time, you know, I mean, like, Boom! they bring out a new patch you and did all it. the hard work is just down you the did toilet. It. You, what, what you said, put it in my head, it was Sylv Sylvanas leading the horde. Oh, yeah, it was. That's what it was, that we would go back if she... Now, I will put a disclaimer to that. It wouldn't really be an automatic in for me. Like I would, I would definitely be thinking about it, or I might go back for a little while. But if they have all the same crap, and that I and think she would get rid of dailies. Leader. She looks like she would. She'd be like, you know what? Fuck dailies. <laughs> I hope to God she'd get rid of dailies. <laughs> you know, dailies should be there for people that want to do them because they're a great way to get golds and all that sort of stuff. But they should not be mandatory to play the game, like and to experience the lore and things like that. Um, I just remember me like never doing dailies except for ones that would possibly lead to an amazing prize, you know, that like I just really, really wanted it. It was a random thing, like the polar bear mount. I would do that daily in, um, what was it? That Storm Peaks or whatever. I think is where yes. I um, I would do that daily. I never got it, but I, <laughs> I started doing the daily, like, you know obviously every day just in case I would get that and it was you know it was fun it was just one that I would do no big deal there were a couple others I did for other reasons or whatever but you know like the fishing daily and the yeah and the food daily and stuff but oh my oh just doing see all why dailies, like, like oh my it, god wow was perfect without dailies they did it you know so I don't understand why now it's such a prerequisite I just to see the story why it unfold became, yeah why it became so necessary for them it was like either or it was like either we have these dailies and people work for this stuff or then it'll be too easy and we'll just be handing the stuff it wasn't like that before so like <laughs> i don't know yeah. maybe it was maybe i was missing something i guess i don't know but i mean that's a huge reason why i left but it just I mean, I, I can't say that it's the only reason, but it's a big one. I was just, I needed a break from it anyway, and I thought, oh, I'll come back later. Well, once I've started playing some of these other games, and I don't want to get into too many comparisons because we're going to do other videos that compare the two. This is mostly just what would bring us back to WoW. Um, because I think about it a lot. You know, it was my first big MMO. Like, I played RuneScape for a little while, but obviously, you know, that didn't really go anywhere. <laughs> and it, um... You know, WoW is a big part. When people play it and get into it, it becomes a huge part of their life. 
and then all yeah. of a sudden it's just not now. Like I just don't even care about it. I spent way too much money on it. Spent way too much time on it. I did enjoy it, and it was a hobby, so I don't like sit there and like dwell on it all the time. Like, oh my god, why did I do that? But at the same time, it's like, oh my god, why did I do that? Because <laughs> like I spent so much so much money transferring characters on different servers oh, and yeah, changing names and buying mounts and pets and I'm like oh my god what did I do mm. but like I said it was a hobby and I did enjoy it and I met people on it and someone I started a YouTube channel oh. with and all that kind of stuff <laughs> yeah I do like well, there I'm not gonna lie there's times our friendship I guess <laughs> There's times I'm, like, questing in other games, and, you know, I get that feeling like, man, it would be so much easier if I was in WoW, because they make it so easy right. to do crap, and it's hard to, like, yes. fight that urge, like, and then I'm, like, thinking, oh, Me Too Sweet would catch me playing, because, especially because of Raptor, number uh, one, she would call me out and be like, you got in there, it's okay and if you did, you no, play. I don't, I don't even have it's a subscription, okay. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, me either. <laughs> Me either, but that's the thing. It's like I do have those nostalgic moments, but it just—it's not enough to bring me back. Yeah, it it's really not. isn't. And and you know, I've only been officially gone since April, but I think we really stopped being into it probably in January. I want to say that was the turning point. I think around that because we started to so. play Minecraft more around February or so, maybe actually end of January, somewhere in there. Um, Granted, we play a lot of things, not just, like, Minecraft. It wasn't just Minecraft that was like, oh, it's Minecraft. We're not going to play WoW anymore. It wasn't Whee! that at all. But it um, was just a combination of things, I guess. Like, I don't know. It's true. I mean, you know, guilds die. That's that's what happens part on of, WoW. And part stuff. of MMOs. That's, yeah, so that wasn't really that, but it did happen at that point. I think it was just a good opportunity for me to leave myself because, like, our guild had died, and I was you just did it. like, "It's your okay, fault. We had to leave." Um, that's fine. <laughs> You're Take K. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, I don't know. It just. It definitely is a time suck, but I mean, these other games are too, so I can't use that as an excuse, you know? I can't be like, <laughs> yeah. oh, it was something No, it has too nothing much, so to, to do with that. It. it just felt like a job. I would get home from work it and just did. do dailies every damn day. That's it. And then I would knock it out a couple of our dungeons. Time. See, I remember when they used to... Okay, they always talk about, oh, we're not getting expansions out soon enough. We're not getting this out. This is why we're losing subs. That's not why they're losing subs. And if they think that's why they're listening to a... I think they're listening to a minority. I mean, people can correct me if they think that it, that I'm wrong. That's fine. But it just... To me, they're listening to these certain few that are hardcore and wow. And it's fine if they're like that. But I remember the times when you're sitting around and you've done everything. You know, you're you're like, oh, man, what do we want to do? And that's when the cool stuff happens. That's when you group up and start attacking cities, you know, just goofing around. That's, you know, that's when you start just being crazy and silly in the game. And that's when the fun happens. Not when you're sitting yep. there doing dailies for hours and hours and hours. Yeah, I'm trying to think of actual dailies that I enjoyed. I uh, know I can't. <laughs> um, maybe the first time on I a don't couple know. of more assignments, and it's like after you do well, it. Well, that's the thing. Day after day, it's like I've seen this. Like it had. It took me a while to get into Mists of Pandaria because I started late because I moved here and I had to wait for my stuff to get here. So you guys were basically done doing your farming dailies. Number one, I know that you guys were finished before I even started, but I did enjoy oh, yeah. it right when I got back. Because it was like, oh, I got all this to do. I get to catch up with everybody. But right. then after a while, you're just like, oh. I think you know what it was? The Golden Lotus that like was the ticker for me. I'm like, what the hell? That Those dailies were so brutal. It was just, oh yeah, my god. Yeah, and when you were on a, P I mean, we were on a PvP server for the majority. That was a that's pain. That's how I started. We just, we had just switched. I just paid t to transfer my main to PvE, and that's when we decided to quit. Um, and that's probably what I would do if I ever come back I will end up spending all that freaking money to transfer all my tunes over and maybe that's another reason why it keeps me from coming back because I'm just like Ugh, you know because I want to have all my tunes on the one server like I did because they have all the professions you know I have healers I have tanks I have everything 
and I want them all in one place. But I've got like one or two transferred and the rest of them are still over <laughs> on the other server and it's like what? But when you're on a PvP server trying to do dailies, it's not a matter of being, oh, you're a wuss, oh, you're, you know, whatever. It's just annoying and yeah, it, it takes annoying. up your time like, because you're that trying didn't to bother finish me. it. It's just, yeah, when you're and trying to do daily, like, you, get, uh, you get next thing you're fighting someone. I'm like, ugh. It was kind of nice and refreshing yeah, when it went was, to Area 52. Yes. It, it was fine when I'm sitting there, like, you know, like, if you if you started a big fight, like, we did that several times, because our, on our server, Horde was dying out pretty heavily, and so we would go just, what, like, four or five of us or whatever against huge amounts of alliance in between the two, um, like, cities in Pandaria and stuff. I mean, it was fun. Like, we would actually you know, kill a bunch of them, and then they'd come back and destroy us, and I mean, that that part of a PvP server is fun, but when you're sitting there trying to quest, yeah. and they come down and, like, start picking a fight, it's not the matter of the fighting part, it's the matter of I'm trying to concentrate and do this, like, it's just exhausting. <laughs> it's like, you're taking up my time, you're annoying, ugh. Why? So. But anyway, I yeah, so I think totally I think we've hit our points. Servers, I think. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I mean, I enjoy it. It's just for gamers like us nowadays, it's better not to, just because it, it is kind of a waste of time. And you're like, Dad, try to do this it is a waste to of time. unlock this daily. Should I get this mount? You're like, you don't want to <laughs> sit there and be killing people or getting ganked. If nothing else, I would be. I would start out on a PVE server as I'm leveling, and then go to a pvp server if i was done but that's the thing it's like and, and wow you have to spend a bunch of money to do that dc universe like again i don't you know the whole comparison thing but i that, that is one thing that i really 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 like about dc universe and it's the only game i've ever seen it in where you can just switch from pvp server to pve server like you just yeah, walk definitely. into that teleporter thing and it just switches you i'm like what so good but anyway, so yeah, anyway. what would bring us back most of all is housing. I think for both of us, really, yeah, if they brought back housing, 100%. like guild halls, and, or you know, brought it in in the first place. Yes, I think we would be like, okay, we're going back. Yeah, to like I'm not gonna compare and talk about why, but housing and just think of the stuff that Blizzard would do with it, like. That's, yeah, Their that's creative team could come up with such spectacular before, stuff. Like, oh like what are you doing? Don't waste your time on dailies. Make housing. I'm telling you, the subs will go through the roof. And I know they're <laughs> they're <laughs> reasoning mean, like we just don't want the population to go down into big cities. F that. Who cares? Oh yeah, definitely. For one, if you have a really highly populated server, you're getting lag in the cities anyway, which is super annoying. Underpopulated, you don't you see anyone. Keep, yeah, you can keep. Um, something in the city that people need to go there for, like one thing, like, okay, don't put a broker in there. I mean, it'd suck. Like, it's nice to have all your stuff everywhere, but I mean, what's better, like, like having no subs, but keeping the city population, like it looks populated or actually getting a ton of subs and money and everything and maybe not having quite as many people in the city. Yeah. But really, I think it would even out because you would have, you would bring your subs back or whatever. Yeah. I'm not so, saying... Put auction houses in guild halls. You don't have to even do that. Keep the auction house where it is. I kind of wish I, they would. I do, <laughs> but I'm trying to help them out with the whole, okay, population thing. That's fine. Keeping If you just give us the housing and like maybe a bank and some vendors and all that trade skill stuff and guild halls and stuff, keep the auction house right there. I don't care. I just want freaking that shit. Like, dude, seriously. Everything else has it, even That's, Rift. Yeah, I don't get why why they don't. It's going to happen. It has to happen. I mean, they say that it's not, but there's no way. I mean, unless they're going to just, you know, stop updating WoW altogether and they're going to, you know, start working on their other stuff exclusively or whatever, there's no way that they can just totally ignore the housing thing. And if they do, like... Mm, like, of course, you know, we're playing EverQuest now, and we're trying not to compare it too much because I want to do a whole other vid, and we definitely will. But it's still the one thing that I will mention there, and I'm going to mention here, is that it feels like you're punished if you play WoW for a long time. It feels like, you know, you like I said, you do all that work for your gear, and then boom, it's there, it's no good anymore, yeah. all that good stuff. Well, um... On EverQuest, you get stuff the longer you play. Like, you do that whole claim thing, and they're like, oh, you've been with us for this long? Here's some prizes. And it's not anything small. It's like mounts and, you know, stuff like that. It's like they reward their 
people that have been there and they don't worry about things like city population because they've got guild halls where i mean you are set up like there's <laughs> no reason for it. you to like leave your guild hall ever and it's amazing but we'll do yeah. videos on that and you'll see and we're not like big proponent like i was totally against everquest at first i'm like oh my god that's gonna like suck or whatever <laughs> and we play all kinds of other games it's just and there's a lot of things in everquest that i can't stand but oh definitely but we'll get into that later we'll get into that <laughs> Yeah, we'll get into that in another video. But anyway, okay. So, Have we yeah, rambled enough? It. I think housing. so. Housing, housing, guild halls, expansion. Housing, if it doesn't suck, God. the Emerald Dream and make Sylvanas lead the horde. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> All right, this is almost a cow. That happened. I'll be back tomorrow. Yeah. Really sweet, and a All cop right. uniform still from Adam the Woo video. <laughs> oh yeah, remember that that <laughs> video? Changed. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, we don't. Adam the Woo here. Sure. That's my second. Okay. But anyway, we'll Sir, see you guys later. Name? Perfectly Sorry. squared. <laughs> Bye. Bye.